Let's start with Yemen, where protesters stormed the U.S. Embassy in Sana'a, the Yemeni capital. Some managed to breach the security wall. And this is the latest of the demonstrations against the online release of a film produced in the U.S. that mocks the Prophet Muhammad. Over in Cairo, we have live shots for you that show the unrest taking place there in the Egyptian capital. Lots of milling in the streets as well. Riot police earlier fired warning shots and tear gas outside the U.S. Embassy. The president of Egypt, Mohamed Morsi, condemned the attack in Benghazi on September 11th that killed four U.S. officials. In corporate news, a possible deal in the defense business. EADS, the parent of Airbus and BAE Systems, are talking about joining forces to compete against Boeing. A combined company would have a market value of about $45 billion and $100 billion in sales. It would make everything from commercial jets to nuclear submarines. Shares of both companies falling this morning. And the U.S. income gap between rich and poor now at the widest in more than 40 years. According to the Census Bureau, the poverty rate also held at 15 percent almost a two-decade high. Median household income fell one and a half percent last year.